Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add websites to your desktop or even as an app icon in your dock here on a Mac. So let's say your favorite website is pixelandbracket.com or maybe the YouTube channel. Whatever browser you're in, check the URL section up here. We need to click and drag this URL to our desktop. The best way to do that here in Chrome specifically is to kind of hover over the lock icon here on the left side. And as we click and drag, we can see the little tool tip says a plus and it has the website name and everything. And it's going to add it to our desktop or add it wherever we're taking it. I'm going to take it to the desktop. Now on Mac, the default icon is this kind of HTTP thing. Well, if you want that to be more specific to the website, you can find some imagery on the website to copy and paste into the icon or maybe the logo or something. So we can right click on this guy and go to get info. That's going to pop open a little get info panel. Once we have that open, what we need to do is find an icon or logo or image that we want to use as the icon here on the desktop. So I'm going to go over to the Pixel Bracket YouTube channel because I've got nice uh, sized icon here that I can use. And I can just right click on that and hit copy image. So you want to get something copied to your pasteboard so that you can paste it in as an icon to this guy. And to do that, we just select the icon here, go up to edit, and down to paste. That's control, oh, well, it's not going to be control. It's going to be command V because we're only doing this on Mac. So we can paste that in there. And now we have a nice clean icon. The other thing you can do is adjust the name or rename this shortcut. So if we wanted to just have it named pixel and bracket in this case, we can just delete the rest of this. And yes, even if you delete this extension, it should still work fine for you. It might warn you though, after you click off of this and exit the get info, that you're going to remove this extension. It might adjust things or change how it opens. In this case, I'm going to remove it because I've already tested this and it still works. If we double click on this guy, it's going to open up that website. Now, if you want to add this to your dock, what you would do is click and drag it down to the right side of your dock. Mine's hidden, so it'll pop up right here. And then I can actually drag it down here somewhere if I get it in the right spot. There we go. So where I have some things minimized on this right-hand side, not in the application section, unfortunately, but over here next to downloads, etc., I can just drop it in there. Now, if I right-click on this, I can check the options. If it says remove from dock, then it is going to stay in your dock, so that's fine. But if you do want to remove it, you can go to options, remove from dock. Now, whether or not you need to keep this icon in the same place, like on your desktop, now that it's in your dock, is a good question. So let's drag it to this folder and get rid of it. And then we'll check our dock. It's still there. And we'll click on it and see if it opens. Yes, it does. So really, you could probably delete that off your desktop or move it to another spot unless you actually want to keep it on your desktop. And that's how to take a website and create a shortcut on your desktop or in your dock here on a Mac. 